I rewatched the Emoji movie last night. I did it for this review because I always wanted to do this for such a long time. Everyone knows about this movie's quality. This is one of the most hated movies ever made. And do, do you want to know what I think about this movie? Eh. So. Hey guys, this is Frozen Wish Stews here, and welcome back to another review. Oh no, scratch that. This is not a review. This is not a rant. This is not an extreme rant. This is an extreme epic rant on the Emoji Movie. One of the most universally panned movies ever made in the history of film. So the Emoji Movie uh, is a Sony Pictures animated film uh, from uh, that came out in the year 2017 and is based on well, emojis, uh, and uh, is uh, directed by uh, Tony Lin uh, the same director as an animated film that came out in uh, to like some other films. Oh yeah, like. Lilo and Stitch do Stitch has a glitch at Igor, and I think he directed a Kung Fu Panda sh- show as well. Um, oh yeah, he directed a Kung Fu Panda short called the Secrets of the Masters, and it stars T. J. Miller, James Corden, Anna Faris, Maya Rudolph, Stephen Wright, Jennifer Coolidge, Jake D. Austin, Christina Aguilera, Sofia Vergara, Patrick Stewart. Rob Riggle, Sean Hayes, uh, uh, et cetera. And so the film tells uh, the uh, story. Oh, if you, can, if you can even call this shit a story. It tells the story of Gene. Uh, that tells the story of emojis uh, who basically go to work. Like, they, like the film just uh, shows the, the, the process of how emojis uh, work. Like, they, you know, how, the, how you know, they process uh, being scanned and getting on the phone and uh, they basically must use one uh, facial expressions uh, to one facial expression yo uh, because that's what emoji is like but unfortunately there is a uh, multi uh, there is a uh, you know, multi uh, facial expression there's an emoji named Gene who has multiple facial expressions uh, he has basically has his disorder, and he is. And one day he actually showed up his like multi expression face, and he um, and yeah, basically everyone uh, saw it, and and he is being called a malfunction, and so yeah, uh, so the the robots uh, get on the loose to like delete the gene from existence in order to get Alex's phone fixed, and one day, yeah, Gene like teams up with High Five, who we just bumped into. Uh, they must find Jailbreak, uh, who can help them find a princess because uh, the princess emoji is the uh, key to solving uh, Gene's problems. In order for him to like uh, show one facial expression and yada yada yada, that's a that's the plot for it. Okay, yep, I think um, emoji movie may may be a dead horse at this point because. Every single person, or at least people with an actual brain, knows how much of a horrendous train wreck this, this quote-unquote movie is. Uh, yeah, the world knows about how bad this movie is. Uh, and although, but yes, I'm doing this rant, I know. I'm joining the party of everybody who did a rant on the Emoji movie. Um... The, the Emoji Movie, and yeah, um, <sighs> yep, this movie has been universally hated ever since The Emoji Movie came out in 2000, The Emoji Movie was announced in, I believe, 2015, now, I'm not, it, yes, I, I do know that it was, it was first announced in 2015, I'll admit that I have never heard of this movie until, uh, 2017, like, early 2017, or, like, I think 2016, 
but I know it was announced in 2015 mainly because of Iron Man's Hotel Jazz Avail 2 review where he revealed in the end of the interview that Sony was going to make the Emoji movie. Uh, and uh, yeah, now I first discovered this movie while I was scrolling through uh, yo, a list of your know, upcoming movies. I, I, I wanted to see like what movies were coming out in 2017. And then I came across the Emoji movie. And you know what I think about it? I was like, eh, pass, uh, like, I'm, eh, pass, I, I, I want to watch this, uh, yeah, but I actually did, I'll admit, I did not re- realize about how universally panned it was going to be, like, ever since I, it first came out, I thought it was going to be, eh, it's just a movie that I'm just going to, like, pass it on and just not give a shit about it, but yes, now eventually I became aware about how hated this movie was, is, uh, yeah, mainly because of a uh, conversation I, I, I had with my classmates. I remember, like, a classmate of mine was, like, asking some other students, like, Hey, guys, who do you guys hate the Emoji Movie? And, and, and it, by the way, and, but, and this was asked before the Emoji Movie even came out. And they were like, oh, yes, I, I, I hate the Emoji Movie. And, yeah, and, and it was like, the guy who asked was like, oh, thank God you guys hate it. So, yeah, I knew... That something was up the, with the emoji movie, so that's when I eventually searched it up and found out about the backlash, uh, and it got a zero percent on Rotten Tomatoes because it should because it's a fucking emoji movie. Okay, let me ask you something: How can you make a movie a good movie about emojis? Like emojis are basically are basically just emoticons. Uh, they're just yo know, yo know, emoticons, like just uh, you know post something what if it's about if if the story was about you know um, a human character trying to find trying to like search for the, the right emoji to use on so, a girl that he has a crush on that actually would have been fine i admit if this movie was about alex just trying to impress his girl what while, while like trying to 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 find the correct emoji expression to use uh, on his crush i admit that would have been a good movie but no, instead, we had to focus on emojis. And, and, and of course, well, there is no idea on what to fucking do to, to you know, do this. Uh, to, like, make a good story about it. Like, this is impossible. But then again, we need to remember the Lego movie. A movie ab- about, you know, Legos. Uh, and, of course, nobody, hit, uh, nobody uh, uh, was excited for this movie at the time. But then the world was shocked about how masterful it was. So yeah, you might think that that, that, that the Emoji Movie would actually be the same as the Lego Movie. No, in fact, the Emoji Movie is basically what people feared the Lego Movie would be. A gigantic piece of shit does, that does not justify its existence whatsoever. And this movie, rightfully so, deserves all the hate it gets, all the backlash, everything, because because seriously, this is a movie that everybody should hate. This is a movie that the universe should hate. Uh, and I am sorry. If you actually think this movie's a, this movie's good, I'm sorry. Then there is something wrong with you. You need help. Because, yeah, this movie is... It's shit. It's objectively a bad movie. And I, I cannot see anyone liking this. And, and you know... And... If you guys know me so well, you know that I, I'm I'm a guy all worth for hot takes. Um, for hot takes, uh, you know, re- recently I I thought Borderlands was a decent movie. Like I enjoyed Borderlands, and, and, and as a movie that's like almost as hated as the Emoji movie, it, it's like basically the Emoji movie of video games in terms of reviews. But I personally enjoyed it, so I'm one for hot takes. Huh? I don't always I I know that you don't always have to like agree with the majority. But the Emoji Movie is just basically a movie that the universe should hate, like what I said. And I think the world is right about the Emoji Movie, yeah. And yes, um, I, I can't believe people are actually defending this movie now. Why? Is it because it's not made by Disney? Like, I have a feeling people are just going to blindly defend any movie that's not made by Disney. I actually saw a comment about the Minecraft movie saying that, you know, Oh, um, I'm excited for this movie because at least it's not a Disney movie. Like... Fuck off. Uh, and if you actually... And by the way, if anybody... If I hear anybody think that this movie is better than Wish, and especially better Frozen 2, well, I gotta say, fuck off, people. Yep, 
fuck off. Nobody, yeah, that, that should be illegal. Calling, saying the emoji movie is better than Frozen 2 should be fucking illegal. Yeah, I also better than Wish 2. Yeah, so yeah. Now, what do I like about the emoji movie? What, is there anything good about the emoji movie? Um... I'm I, I'm actually a fan of feel this moment like oh, I just wanna feel this moment yeah I'll admit that I'm actually a huge fan of this song so yeah this yeah now yes when I saw this movie for the first time it did put a smile on my face when uh, you know I heard uh, feel this moment and also I will admit at the time I did not see I did not think that this was one of the worst movies ever I I gave this a, like a one out of five because of that song and you know some enjoyable moments. I gave I gave it a one out of five when I first saw it. Oh, and I, I remember exactly when I saw this film for the first time. I watched this movie on a phone, on my phone, camcorded, in the airport while I was waiting for my flight on a vacation. Yeah, I was going on like an October vacation. Yeah, that's why I saw this movie for the first time in an airport, literally. Yeah, just waiting for my flight. Yeah, that's, yeah, something. Whew. Okay, what else? Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, wait, okay, where was that? Yeah. I love Feel This Moment. I think it's, like, a pretty good song. Um, I thought, in fact, I'm going to go for a sing. Feel This Moment is actually one of my favorite songs of all time. So, I will give it that. This movie did not ruin Feel This Moment. It's not boring, I guess. There are way more boring movies it is fun to actually just roast the hell of this movie and get angry about it it's more of just a movie that angered me and, and made me want to see like do this point out every single flaws but it did not bore me and i will say that while i don't think jailbreak is in particular are a good character i don't think she's bad i i, I don't hate jailbreak I think that Jailbreak is a tolerable character. Again, not good, but tolerable. Yeah, but mediocre. Yeah, there are some moments in the film where I was like, okay, it's not a bad, it's just mediocre at best. Like, some small moments here. But everything else, oh, that, that seriously, none of those things give any reason of excuse for me to actually want to give this a credit because... Because it deserves to be put in its place on how bad it is. And you want to know how exactly I hate this movie? Okay, I'll tell you. It's obviously the worst movie of 2017. And I'm someone who's seen Fifty Shades Darker. If Yeah, Fifty Shades is probably the, the, the worst live-action franchise of all time. Better than the Trolls franchise, but still. Yep, and yes, fifth, this piece of... of part, this... Oh, yeah. The, this a cat. Oh, yeah. The, the, There's a cat here. There's a cut here, by the way. Yeah. Um. Yep. Anyways, yeah. Where was I? Uh, yeah. This movie makes Fifty Shades Darker look like Logan in comparison. That's how. Yeah. Seriously, that's how bad it is. And this would honestly be my third worst movie of all time. Um. Uh, right behind Despicable Me Four and the Trolls trilogy. But technically, both Despicable Me Four and Trolls back together are now tied as Asio. My worst movies of all time, and then you got the the other two Charles movies. Um, okay, yeah, I will say yes. This movie makes uh, Despicable Me Four and the Trolls movies uh, look like The Lion King, Frozen Two, and Zootopia and Spirit of the Way in comparison. But that does not change the fact that the Emoji movie still deserves to be put in this place because yeah, it is the third worst movie of all time, and this movie is worse. Than every single in any live action movie I've seen, minus the ones I blacklisted. I won't. I, I'm not gonna say their names. Uh, but yes, this movie. Uh, I'll repeat. This is worse than any live action movie I have seen. Yeah, and this. And honestly, this movie would, would came close to being the worst movie of the 2010s. Well, technically, th this would be my second worst movie. Doesn't. This is the second worst movie of 2010s. Second only behind Trolls. Okay, but anyways, yeah, let's roll start living shit out of this movie. Okay, first of all, let's get the obvious out of the way. The one thing that everybody says about this movie. The one thing that everybody noticed about the story. It rips off other movies. Uh, yeah, it rips off so many other better movies. 
it rips off the, the Lego movie, it rips off wreck it Ralph, it rips off Inside Out, yeah. And do I need to say why? Like, you can literally watch every single other reviews point out why, you know, this move, why this movie rips off those movies I mentioned. And, and I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna focus on that because let's be real here, there are other things that, uh, that are wrong with this movie rather than it just being a rip off of other things. So, other things that I don't commonly hear um, people talk about. So, yeah, um, you know, things, yeah. Let's talk about the animation. I heard some people say that the animation is actually good. Why? Is it because it's made by a big butt studio? I'm sorry, but that is no, I mean, no excuse to, no excuse to, for, for, for this one to have, like, for the animation to get past. The animation does not deserve to get past at all. And, and, and I can't believe people actually say that. I, I bet people think that, that, that this movie has better animation than Wish because people have the audacity to, to, to say Wish animation is cheap and lazy. Well, fuck you for that if, if, if you think Wish's animation is cheap and lazy because this because this movie's animation is so, 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 so cheap and lazy. It is horrendous and ugly and it just made me want to vomit. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, it just made me want to vomit my ass off. Yeah, it, it is so horrible. And who the fuck even decided this? It's basically just you take a thing that's... You take a circle and you put a face, arms, and legs on it. That's it. No need to, to complicate things there. Um, Yeah, literally... It, 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 that's the thing. It looks way too easy to make. That's why the animation sucks because it looks way too easy to make normally cg animation would take a while to make like like did you know that coco took a y took years to animate one scene and yes i know some animated movies animated movies were like that too you know but but yeah i've been to a pixar museum back like in 2021 so i know this uh, that you know it ta it takes it took a year to animate a simple scene I mean, Spider Verse. It took four years to animate like a scene that that is very complex, which is you know the, the chase scene. Yeah, I understand that, but Coco, like they only had to nominate a basic scene for one year. That's how hard animation is, especially CG animation. But the Emoji Movie, did they even take their time? Did they? Did the animators even bother to to take their time with it? I refuse to believe that that the animations the animators even tried. To, to take their time to animate this film. I refuse to believe it. Yeah, and what else? Oh yeah, let's talk about the characters now. Oh my goodness, the characters. Okay, well, yes, I did say that Jailbreak is the best character in this film. Not by much though, she still sucks. But you know what, what I hate about Jailbreak? The fucking princess emoji. Yeah, okay, first of all, uh, Jailbreak be being the uh, princess emoji, I mean, that was the most obvious plot twist ever. That, that plot twist was so obvious. Uh, like, seriously, I don't know how anybody would have thought, wow, wow, the Jailbreak is actually the princess emoji? Wow, that's an unpredictable twin. I did not see it coming. I'm sorry, you have no brain. You do not, like, if you have, um, if you think that, that that was unexpected, then you have an IQ of zero. And my goodness, the princess emoji? Oh my goodness, it, it looks horrible. Like, oh. Yeah, I'm sorry. But I think Jailbreak is more gorgeous than the princess emoji. Well, she's not, I don't have a crush on her. Hell no. But still, um, the, the, the princess emoji, like, oh god, it just made me want to look away. It's just, oh, it's so ugly to look at. It, yeah, who agrees with me that that that, Elsa, that long hair Elsa from Frozen Two is way more gorgeous than, than a princess emoji? Oh, uh, and, and 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 when she does, does you know, all the whistling like, whoo! I'm oh, sorry, I'm I'm sorry, I I can't whistle. When she whistles, so she does the princess whistle to the to the bird. Like it becomes so repetitive and so annoying. Like you know, she does the princess whistle to the bird, and it doesn't it, it doesn't show up. And she like. Kept, kept on doing it over and over and over again. And I was like, shut up, Princess Emoji. Shut the fuck up. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, and also, um, yeah, Gene is such a boring protagonist. More boring than mad, I should say. Like, like he, like, he, he, they tried way too hard to, to make Gene so relatable, but I don't care about Gene. I, I, I couldn't give a shit about Gene. He is so, so boring. And, oh, yeah, and also not to mention the uh, chemistry between uh, Gene and Jailbreak, the romance between them. Like, it's honestly creepy and weird. Why? Because they do not have any, they don't show any chemistry that led to, they don't show any co- convincing chemistry that, that led to, um, you know, this. Uh, in, in the Lego movie, um, Gene, Gene now goes from bumping into wild style. Gene goes from, you know, bumping into wild style and to, like, becoming a couple. But at least their romance develops. Uh, they develop a bonding first. Before they become love interest, but when Jane and, and Jailbreak, like they like they just meet each other, like Jailbreak, um, yep, they, they meet each other and you know High Five tries to annoy the hell out of Jailbreak. Oh, by the way, oh, talk about High Five with a bit. Yeah, uh, so Jailbreak, um, yeah, how do I say this? So basically, Jane and Jane and High Five uh, goes to you know um jailbreak and they talk to jailbreak um and jailbreak and jailbreak saying he's not interested because he already finds high five annoying uh, i certainly agree and the only reason jailbreak agreed to this is because he 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 found she found it fascinating that uh that uh, you know gene has multifacial expressions and yeah but turns out the reason why she agreed to help gene it's because she has a crush in Gene for his multifacial expressions. Like, seriously. And literally five minutes into the movie, they all immediately develop a romance. Uh, yeah, and, and yeah, their romance is just so cringy and uh, Yeah, and yeah. Oh yeah, and also, Smiler is such a shitty villain. And... Yeah, yeah, Smiler is such such a horrible villain. And by the way, I feel like Smiler is right. Smiler feels more correct than Gene. I honestly feel really bad for Smiler. Gene feels like the the, the villain of the film. Uh, why? Because like first of all, like in in reality, Gene's uh, facial expressions, more how many multifacial expressions, it should not happen in the phone world. It, it, it should happen. And then apparently, the, the, in the end of the film, they learn that it's okay for an emoji to to have a multifacial expression, even if it's not. Yeah, yeah. Smiler, wait, did I say jailbreak? Yeah, sorry, I meant to say Smiler. Smiler is actually doing doing the right thing for uh, Smiler is do, doing doing the right thing for you know um, you know uh, taking out taking out a, a a malfunction. I mean, in reality, nobody w- would care about you know. A uh, a facial expression, a multifacial expression emoji. They, they'll be like, "What the fuck is this?" Uh, but apparently, it turns out you know, Addy, The only reason Addy likes uh, the, that multifacial expression is because uh, it's because you know, Gene. Uh, it's because the, the, the plot says so. Yeah, it, it's my my criticism with. Oh, sorry. I think I choked into something. Anyways, back to what I was saying. My whole criticism with. Um, Gene and Sm- Gene and you know being a protagonist and Spider being the, the antagonist, it's basically similar to how people criticize the Wish uh, when like you know Asha is like the protagonist and Kim Magnifico is the antagonist. But the movie felt like that uh, Kim Magnifico is doing the right thing and, and Asha is the one who and Asha is the one who who turned Kim Magnifico, Magnifico into a villain because Asha because uh, they see Asha as like you know. Someone who was just in the wrong and who just doesn't understand what Kim Magnifico was doing, and she basically, you know, all the wish stuff. Honestly, I, I don't really get it that much because I don't care. I don't want to hear any shitty ass wish curses. But I, I hear people say like, "Oh, my Kim Magnifico feels like a hero, and Ash is the one doing all the shit." That's basically Gene and, and Smiler. If, if you guys can, can criticize cr- criticize Wish for that, then you can clearly see as well that Gene is wrong and Smiler is right. I'm sorry, but. How can anybody not see, like, see through that? And by the way, Smiler's son, Smiler's, you know, smile. Oh my goodness, it is so, so creepy. And you know what is even creepier? The ending, 
whereas Myler has put on braces. Oh my goodness, that is creepy. Now, I'm not saying people with braces are, are creepy. I mean, I almost got braces. Yeah, fun fact, guys, I almost got braces, but honestly, I just don't want to get braces. But I know people, a lot of people are on me in, in, my, in real life with braces, yeah. Yeah, good thing I dodged a bullet there because I I, I don't want to get any braces. But and and, and, and even Riley, uh, she she's adorable despite despite wearing braces. Uh, helicopter. Um, yeah. So, but but spider with braces is just creepy. Yeah, I mean I fucking hate uh, Mel and Mary uh, Jean's parents. My God, they are so cringy. They they, they are so uh, cringy. Um, yeah. Whenever they, they they talk to each other with like in, in a small and man manner, whenever but they try way too hard to uh, to have your know, facial expressions, like they, they try way too hard to actually show emotions, but they can't because they're man. They talk like this, like they, this is how they can. They, this is how they converse. Co- they, no, this is how they communicate with one another, and it just. So so cringy to, to listen to. It honestly made me fuck. Seriously, every time uh, Mary and Mel like talk to each other, I fucking mute. Um, because it, it it's just so cringy to to hear their uh, talk like this, even though they're trying so hard to to actually show feeling it, to to actually try to express how they feel, but they can't because their only facial expression is meh. But suddenly, yeah, there, yeah. I mean, if you thought the jailbreak being a princess it, it is uh, dumb enough, uh, wait till you see this dumb plot twist. Apparently, Mel is a multifacial expressionist. What the fuck? So are you saying that the reason why Gene has multifacial expressions is because his dad has it too? Fuck off, movie. Seriously, fuck off. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about the poop emoji. Seriously, my goodness. The poop emoji. Okay, well, now I know people say that the poop emoji... I know that pe- people say the poop emoji is the worst character in the film. Because let's be real here. He's a piece of shit. But, um, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, actually, there is one character who is even worse than poop. And I'll certainly get into that later. But, yes, uh... The poop emoji, all he does is just say poop jokes. Like, seriously, like, that that joke, uh, he's like, oh, should we wash our hands? <laughs> oh, my goodness. And, and uh, he, he just, he's just just like, oh, yeah, you, you stink. Oh, this stinks. So, and, uh, oh, uh, and all that stuff. Uh, yeah, he, he makes poop jokes every single second. And... Patrick Stewart, what the fuck are you doing in this movie? How the fuck did you get to play poop? Uh, you were Pat- Professor X from Logan. You you gave your best performance from Logan. How could you go from Logan to the Emoji movie? Yeah, what a coincidence that uh, Patrick Stewart is in both my fair movie 2017 and my least fair movie 2017. Wow, what a shocker there. What a fucking shocker this is. Uh, and oh boy. We get to the worst character in this entire film. The, wor- the, the, the character that just pissed me off the most. And that is High Five. Oh, I hate High Five so much. Honestly, I just want to crush his hand. He is so annoying. I hate High Five so much. Okay, first of all, if you guys don't know, James Corden is my pick for the worst actor of all time. Now, I, there's only one good James Corden role, and that is you know, the, the baker from Into the Woods. And and I, I do like his live shows, but whenever he does animated movies, holy fucking shit, he is so cringy and annoying and obnoxious. And High Five is the worst of them all. Literally, high, first of all, High Five does not do, do anything in this uh, film. Uh, in this film, uh, yeah, he does. All he does is just be annoying. He annoys Jailbreak. Yeah, no wonder uh, Jailbreak hates Gene. Oh, hates Jailbreak. Oh, oh, by the way, one thing I forgot to mention about you know, Jailbreak and Jeans, they don't argue. They don't have problems with each other. 
They never did. That's why the chemistry is so poor and not convincing. Because apparently they're so perfect with each other. They don't have any flaws. Like, look at Emmett and Wildstyle. Like, going back to the comparisons, they do, they do argue. Uh, they do argue um, and, and, and all that stuff. Uh, yeah, but, all, but yeah, huh. they eventually got together. Because, but it, you, know, you know why they argue? Because th- th- that's how they grow on each other. But with Jade and Jailbreak, they don't need to grow on each other. They already are in love with each other. And you can already instantly feel that. Uh, yeah, uh, but it's mainly, mainly when it comes to you know, the, the team, Jailbreak's main problem is just High Five being annoying. And my goodness, High Five is so, 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 like, stupid. All, in fact, the only reason High Five all is there is to ca- cause plot contrivances. Uh, like for example, like in the Candy Crush scene. Oh, by the way, the product placements. Uh, I'll get to that. Uh, yeah. Um, high five. You know, goes from you know eating a uh, sugar, like eating so much sugar in Candy Crush instead of helping Jean, to just being fake uh, hyperactive from other candy. But you can. But honestly, I have a feeling he's faking it. He's only the only reason he's hyperactive from the candy. It's just for, 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 for the sake of it, just to be funny, uh, j- j- just to be funny, but, but actually, no, he is, but sorry, no, he, he is not funny by any means, and, and he will not be funny, he will never, and I mean never, be funny, he, he is not, um, and, uh, and, you know, he, and there's a scene in the film where Jailbreak tells uh, Gene and High Five, not to push, not to touch anything or push any buttons, but immediately high five. R- once when jailbreak tells him not to, high five pushes a button. <laughs> and yeah, but this leads me to my next point in the film: the fucking product placement. Oh. <laughs> Oh my goodness. This movie is... This movie is all basically product placements after product placements after product placements after product placements. And you know like what product placements there are? Oh, uh... Basically, Twitter. Yeah, they... Yeah, with the uh, jailbreak and the uh, high five riding on a, a, a Twitter bird. The Dropbox being an important plot point in the film. You know, there was your know, piracy, and, and by the way, that the piracy scene is actually the scene in the film I forgot about the most. I was like, "What the fuck is this?" Like, I I don't remember the scene when when it got to the scene. Oh, and by the way, th- those those viruses and spam bags. Oh god, they they, they make me cringe, and I, I can't believe those trolls. Um, they fucking reminded me of the trolls from Trolls Band Together. They reminded me of, of, of the burgers from Trolls Band Together. Uh. Yeah, and cho- cho- chose by together. Um, no, no, not chose by together. Rather, the, the, the first choice. Well, to an extent, chose by together too. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. They reference Instagram with this cringy scene where Mary and Mel would uh, go inside Alex's uh, photo, and apparently it's like a tourist like for, for emojis. Like, oh. Uh, uh, YouTube is mentioned with a bunch of YouTube shorts. They reference, you know, pineapple pen. Yeah, that dead meme that no one gives a shit anymore. By the way, pineapple pen. I never. I I always hate that song. By the way, it's like, what the fuck is the point of that? And what else? Yeah, so many others. It, it's just all product placement, basically. Oh yeah, Spotify, where Gene and Jailbreak ride on yo music waves. And apparently for them, the music waves are water. Yeah, bullshit. I call bullshit on that. Um, yeah, you see what I mean? Yeah, this, yeah, and people have the audacity to, to, to complain about Ready Player One being all pop culture references, but at least Ready Player One uses those pop culture references to enhance the story to, as a part of a story, not just, you know, to like shove it down our throat and be like, oh, hey guys, look, it's a product placement, blah, 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 blah. And yeah, seriously, um, was, oh yeah, and let's not forget, Two of the cr- two scenes in the film I want I want to mention that are just so cringe inducing. First of all, 
there the firewall scene. Yeah, basically where uh, Gene says to tries to Alex uh, like try try to guess the password, and every time he guesses it wrong, he gets blown up. And it turns out, yeah, um, his password, Alex's password, is Adi. Okay, well, I will admit though, it did inspire me to uh, to create a password, you know, related to my crush. Yeah, that would have been awesome. I would do that, but I have, I have, I have my own password for my phone and, and for other stuff, and I don't want to change it anymore. But yeah, if I, if I had a chance to, yeah, I, I I'd name it. Uh, I use my crush as my password. No, not my real fictional crush, but rather my real life crush. Yeah, okay, what else? Um, what else? Oh, yeah. But, but you know what, what, what really made me cringe about that scene? Alex's email, like, that he, that he threw, the, threw in the trash to Addy. Oh, my God. You know, like, what he wrote? Like, he, he basically, Alex tried to write an email to Addy expressing his love for her. He just literally wrote, put in the lyrics of Shy Bright like a diamond, like, oh my god. And honestly, it's just so cringe. Like, he just put the lyrics of Shy Bright like a diamond. Like, what the fuck? And, uh, oh yeah, another cringy moment is the emoji pop. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Now, like what I said, I like Feel This Moment. I think Feel This Moment is an amazing song. But what the fuck is a pop emoji? Like, like this, like it's just you know, oh, uh, like cover a face and peekaboo, cover a face, peekaboo, and it's basically just oh showing different emojis. And also, by the way, guess what? In the ending of the film, every single emojis, uh, every single emojis show multi facial expressions, even if nobody has that quote unquote disorder. Apparently, they now show multi facial expressions because of Jane. Oh my goodness. And yeah, by the way, that, that, that third act is, is a definition of anticlimactic. Yeah, you know how they defeat Smiler? Jailbreak just turns off you know, the butt and it crashes the Smiler, and yeah, there's no action. Like, it, like, yeah, it's just anticlimactic. And, and basically, like, 99% of the phone um, gets wiped out. Gets yeah, wiped out. Uh, and uh, apparently, it, it, it gets brought back. Uh, just because the plot tells it to. Honestly, I just wish uh, the the I just wish the movie end, ended with the entire phone gang wiped out. Uh, because yeah, I would. That that means bye bye emoji movie. Yeah, bye bye bye. Yeah, and yeah, uh, and also yes, of course, it ends with yo know, a typical yo know, cliche animated film. Yeah, it, like ending that uh, like. Basically, a, a typical ending from this, you know, animated film. Um, no, wait, sorry. It ends with a... The kind of ending you typically see from a shitty kids movie. Yep, a dance ending. So, yeah. Oh, so, overall, the Emoji movie... I only, uh, what else do I need to say other than it fucking sucks? Yeah, it is, it is an animated atrocity that deserves all the hate it gets. It is a baby movie. Oh, but yeah. But yeah, the, the target audience as well was one thing I should add. This is a movie made for babies. And only two-year-olds uh, two year olds would you know, like this film. It, it is made for babies and babies only. And I know, say what you want about, about me calling a lot of bad anime movies for babies. But the Emoji movie is a baby movie. And you should learn to accept it. Uh, and, and, you know, and, and even though it's for babies, there are, there are literally... Like jokes in this movie that are for adults, like, like that I point in this film. Like for example, this whole there was this whole gimmick of you know, uh, Mer- M- Mel and Mary talking about that da- that da- divorcing each other, divorcing each other, and they go their separate ways, uh, calling it di- uh, divorce. But then and then they eventually just get back together. Like why? And also not to mention. There is a scene in the film where basically High Five g- gets thrown into the trash can by uh, from a-, a robot throws High Five in the trash can. Which, by the way, I wish uh, High Five was in the trash can forever before being the worst character in the film. Yeah, basically, literally the the funniest scene in the film was seeing High Five get 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 thrown in the trash can. I was like, ha, High Five. That's what you get for being the worst character in the film. Yeah, and basically in that scene, High Five literally talks about suicide. What the fuck? It's a, it's a fucking kids movie. Why would you want to talk about suicide in a kids movie? 
Ah. But you know what? Fuck it. I'm done. Zero out of five. Do I need to say anything else? Uh, yep. A straight up zero out of five. In fact, a negative view rating would be more jet. Would be. In fact, zero out of five is too generous. It deserves like a negative five out of five. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, which is worse than a zero. Woo. Yeah. So, so also for my extreme epic rant on the emoji movie. What are your thoughts on the film? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, but oh by the way, I forgot to mention the real reason why I did I made this review. It's because of fucking trolls band together five thousand one actually making a positive review of this film, calling it the underrated gem. And why exactly does it call it an underrated gem? Because of Spider-Verse. Yeah, because Spider-Verse, yeah, excess, yeah. For him. He ate Spider-Verse so much that it made him like an emoji movie. And I know Trolls by the Gather 5001 got terminated, but basically his uh, review on why he called the emoji movie an underrated gem is what inspired me to, to, to uh, make this rant video. So anyways, yeah. And also, yeah, so yeah, screw both Trolls by the Gather fan and also Luigi Marinus Gaming for loving this movie and calling it an underrated gem, yeah. Luigi Marinus Gaming's you know, review on like the emoji movie and, on, and why it's a quote unquote underrated gem what a piece of shit video. So yeah, um, what are your thoughts on the film? Uh, like, please tell me you, you, you hate this film. I can't say, who likes this movie? Well, babies and man child. That's who likes this movie. So yeah, comment down below, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and stay tuned for a much more positive review on Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Yeah, no, I did see this film last Thursday, but... If you guys saw my community post, you probably know why I, I delayed my Beelgeous Beelgeous review. So yeah, bye guys.